Hey guys, this is Angarizke and welcome back to my video in YouTube. And today we're gonna learn about the animation of user interface for button navigation with the Invision. So this is the Invision Studio. Have you download this app? I have provided these icons. Sorry. Yeah. I I got uh five sorry six I don't know <laughs> yeah six and I will try to do some animation for the button navigation especially for the floating button so we're gonna choose iPhone SE okay so what I like here that Invision Studio is not allow us to do design only, but we can also uh, doing some animation or interaction of design. All right, so this is I will give the name um, home. Okay. So what we're gonna do is create the button navigation bar with the shortcut R on your keyboard or you can choose this rectangle so I will make sure that height of navigation bar 40 and we are moving to the bottom okay and I will give the name this is the background nav cool Okay, so I will put several icons. I need hearts, uh, chat, heart, and house. Just four icons. Oops. I guess I have to open by here. Uh, images. And then icons. Okay you see nothing because those icons are white color okay so basically the icon size is i'll try to 22 all right that's enough and we have to setting the margin okay and we have to do for all of them 22 and we put those icons to the bottom navigation bar just randomly you don't have to sort here okay I guess 40 and 40 uh, sorry 50 and it have to be 50 alright guys so I wanna try to change the color to white color and giving shadow but we have to change the angle of y direction which is minus 4 so the shadow will appear and reduce the opacity and then I want to increase the blur to 10 and I think we have to decrease again the opacity okay but let's see are we able to change this color oh unfortunately not so we uh, we're not able to use the navigation with the white color well I will going with red color no problems okay so I will create the primary floating button in the middle with the oval so I will set it to 40 Okay. Yeah. And make sure 
the button in the middle so this is background btn and we have to group them to the btn and this one i will use the red color but i will give the strokes with the two pixel and the color white and i guess this margin have to be right 10 pixel and 10 pixel and inside of the button i will draw the icon by myself with the uh, this one stroke so basically this icon for uh, plus menu okay and I will duplicate this but first of all we have to setting to 10 pixel oh sorry zero undo undo and this one have to be duplicated and we have to rotate like this okay but i think the icon is little it's not go strike so we have to group and this is plus and we have to rotate carefully okay and make it smaller and put like this okay so then after that i want to make those strokes become smooth by click here okay and then we copy this background button just copy and pass uh, out of the group but put it on the bottom we change to background menu and we remove the strokes and we rotate and then after that i will change the color uh, sorry don't have to change the color first just let it okay and then i will duplicate this artboard change the name to become home menu activated okay so this is scene number one and this is scene number second so you select the background menu and then after that you put to the top and you have to edit this yeah just make it uh, bigger okay and then i think we have to put this uh, background menu below of the background nav okay in the home menu activated the background menu have different color like this one okay and we are going to the button just remove stroke and then this plus uh, the plus button have to be rotated so just rotate yeah nice okay and let's try 
to see what happen whenever we click this so you select the layer and you select this and motion with the edit timeline wow too fast i have to increase the duration but in the btn that we have to make it fast so i think it's only 30 and then i think it's too slow just five seconds you can see that it's pretty easy so we can preview here wow cool and if if you want to go back just click here and go back but before we do that i want to put something here for the menu so we are using the text here my menus okay and we have to change the color to white color then we can duplicate this and change it to 18 I think 16 with the font type is like and this is maybe you can use account settings and then rewards in food frame tutorials okay and then you can give the dem margin like this and you have to group this uh, this layer this is menus we can copy that to the home and move to the top one two three four five with the opacity 100 so we have to remove this interaction first just click right and delete and try again to put here uh, sorry motion and the duration is about uh, 7 and you can see and I want to get some delay so in the menu we have to open after the design come out okay nice slip oops well, <laughs> that was bug yeah uh, why let's see what happened just edit the timeline and if we see this oh that's bug okay I guess it's too slow try again that was bug on the background that I even don't know maybe it's come from Invision and let's try to go back again just go back here motion and probably uh, five seconds looks cool right yeah so this is pretty easy if we are using the Invision Studio to explain your 
animation idea okay guys thank you very much for watching don't forget to like comment and share with your friends nice to meet you from indonesia and sorry for this bug see you